Sean Hayes be able to stop the Andre Bishop Express? Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. We welcome you to Atlantic City's Boardwalk Hall to see if Bishop can move his mark to 4-0 as he faces Keyshawn Hayes. Bishop. His adversary by way of Newark, Keyshawn Hayes. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch him up. This guy's got a mean left hook who's going to try and catch you with it early. Yeah, I heard about that. Round number one is now underway. Did you see that? Targeting that head and landing with a bomb. Andre Bishop still in a tough spot here. Don't get fooled just thinking he beat the count and everything's fine. And I'm not so sure that he can grab. So what you got to do now if you're a trainer, the way you taught him in the gym is you don't want to go grab because you might leave yourself open. Move your head when he comes to you, then you grab him. Oh, a damaging left hook by Keyshawn Hayes gets to Andre Bishop. Hayes is rocked by a huge hook to the head. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. When we get matchups like this, guys that just won't quit, they'll be there every step of the way like Gaddy Ward. Sometimes there comes a point where one fighter thinks he's got himself an advantage. He's done something great. But then the other fighter doesn't go away. How does that play out in the minds of each fighter? Usually it doesn't affect the kind of guys you just mentioned, Gaddy and Ward. They may have to cement these guys. They're already set in their ways. They know what they have to do. They're not going to get thrown off just because somebody's still there. A well-placed overhand, and just like that, things turn around. A back-and-forth round. Both men have been rocked. This is what boxing's about. This is what battle is about. This is what human spirit is all about. Well-placed, straight right hand. Hayes is hurt by a big shot. What a turn of events. What a turnaround. He scores his own knockdown after being knocked down earlier. And that's where scoring a knockdown hurts you sometimes because now you think you're just going to walk in and get it again. Well, Two, he walked in, he three, did get it. He got it. Five, so he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Hayes is banged by an uppercut. Just like that. Relax. Relax. We're okay. We're okay, yo. Can't let this guy be first. He can't be first. When he throws first, he's able to set that power shot. And I need you to keep moving this round, all right? Stay on your feet for him. Come on. He's got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Oh! He got demolished like that was a wrecking ball. One punch power ends the evening. You gotta love that. Bishop's able to come up with a knockout victory, and he does it that early in the fight? And does it with one shot that he never saw. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. Brian Kenny back here in our Friday Night Fight studios. We have an update on the career of rising star Andre Bishop. And while he certainly hasn't taken an easy road so far in his career, 
Bishop is poised to have his coming out party against top 15 middleweight contender Ricardo Alvarez, something virtually unheard of for a prospect with so few pro fights. What's more, the fight will take place in Alvarez's hometown of Chicago, although we can't expect a few fans to make the trip from Philly.